here's the farewell for the Obamas here. They're going to walk past the, uh, the honor guards. And we'll see if he salutes one more time. Lester, that too is an American journey. You think about where he came from. And he did. And your so father, him. mother from Kansas. Uh, she was raised in Chicago in a working class family, Harvard and Princeton, and then became president and first lady. And Lee was a great sense in this country yeah. of how, what great parents they were and stewards of family values. And the placement. Hear, uh... The placement. I think about the placement changed forever in ways it, it, it sent a message to all Americans and the Obama era is over as uh, he boards the uh, Air Force jet that will carry them on vacation into the next chapter of, of their lives Barack and Michelle Obama on the right there there's Vice President uh, Pence Karen Pence making their way into the, into the luncheon and in a moment we would expect to see uh, President Trump and the First Lady there they are there and Lester, you talk about this being the end of the Obama era in Washington. It is, it's the start, of course, of the Trump era. And that means, I think, a lot for the Republicans who are in this room on Capitol Hill. What this means for a Republican Party that for a long time wouldn't accept Donald Trump, many parts of it refusing to. Now, not only forced to, but almost excited about the possibility of what they can accomplish moving forward.